In this module we will discuss about compression encoding in Redshift. Compression is a column level operation that reduces the size of data when it is stored. Compression conserves storage space and reduces the size of data that is read from storage, which reduces the amount of disk I.O. and therefore improves query performance. We strongly recommend using the copy command to apply automatic compression. A compression encoding specifies the type of compression that is applied to a column of data values as rows are added to a table. If no compression is specified in a create table or alter table statement, Amazon Redshift automatically assigns compression encoding as follows. Columns that are defined as sort keys are assigned raw compression. Columns that are defined as boolean, real or double precision data types are assigned raw compression. All other columns are assigned LGO compression. There are 8 compression techniques. We will discuss them in detail. Raw encoding. Raw encoding is the default encoding for columns that are designed as sort keys and columns that are defined as boolean, real or double precision data types. With raw encoding, data is stored in raw and compressed form. Byte dict encoding. The block size of Redshift is 1 MB. Each block holds 1 MB of data. When you define byte dict encoding for any column, then a dictionary of 256 1 byte unique values will be saved. Let's see that with an example. If I have a table and I am loading the country values, then a dictionary will be created for that inside a block and an index will be created for each value. If the table has multiple values of country names as you see here in this diagram, you have the value England twice. With the compressed value, it will just store the unique values. They are 0 and 0 and the same index is created in one table. You can see the index in the small table to the right top and the actual data will be saved as in the table below which is 00, 0 for England, 1 for United States of America, 2 for Venezuela, 3 for Sri Lanka and 4 for Argentina and followed by. So the new size would be 1 byte for each value and the total size of this data column would be 10 but whereas the original size is about 300 bytes. Delta encoding. Delta encoding are very useful for date time columns. Compression data by recording the difference between values that follow each other, each other in the column. This difference is recorded in a separate dictionary for each block of column values on disk. If the column contains 10 integers in sequence from 1 to 10, the first value will be stored as a 4 byte integer plus a 1 byte flag and the next 9 will be each will be stored as a byte with the value 1 indicating that it is 1 greater than the previous value. Data, delta encoding comes in two variations. Delta records the difference as 1 byte values which is 8 bit integers. Delta 32k records difference as 2 byte values which is 16 bit integers. If most of the values in the columns could be compressed by using a single byte, the 1 byte variation is very effective. However, if the deltas are larger, this encoding in the worst case is somewhat less effective than storing the uncompressed data. If the difference between two values exceeds the 1 byte range or 2 byte range, the full original value is stored with a leading 1 byte flag. The 1 byte range is from minus 127 to 127 and the 2 byte range is from minus 32k to 32k. The following table shows how a, how a delta encoding works for a numeric column. You can see the original data values as 1 and the second value as 5. So the original size would be 4 and 4. Now after applying delta encoding for this column then the compressed value would be 1 plus 4 flag plus actual value which is 5 bytes. And then for the second value 5 as the difference between 5 and 1 is 4 then the value of 4 is 1. In the then only one byte is occupied. So making it 
1 plus 4 plus 1. Total 6 bytes for the first two values. And the third value 50 will be saved as 1. Because the increment is just 45. So the compressed value is 45. And the size of the increment is just 1. So the in this way it will just takes the delta and then stores the difference as value which will be very less. So you can see the original size for this particular table is 28 but the compressed size is 15. LGO encoding. LGO encoding provides a very high compression ratio with good performance. LGO encoding works specially well for care and wear care columns that store very long character strings especially free form text such as product descriptions, user comments or JSON strings. LGO is the default encoding except for columns that are designated as sort keys and the columns that are defined as boolean, real or double precision data types. So don't ever worry if you are finding it difficult to find any compression technique. You just load the data and Redshift will take this LGO encoding as a default and will save the data in your table. Mostly encoding. Mostly encodings are useful when the data type for a column is larger than most of the stored values required. By specifying a mostly encoding for this type of column, you can compress the majority of the values in the column to a smaller standard storage size. The remaining values that cannot be compressed are stored in their raw format. In general, the mostly encoding works with the following data types. For decimal values, ignore the decimal points to determine whether the value fits into the range. For example, 1234.56 is treated as 123456 and can be compressed in a mostly 32 column. So this table shows the range of mostly encoding values. Mostly 8 can hold the value which has a range from 1 minus 128 to 127. You can see the other ranges in the table. The following table shows compressed sizes for specific numeric values with the mostly 8, 16 and 32 encoding. If the original values are followed as shown in the first column, then the size of that values will be 4 each. And when it is 40,000, the size would go from 8. So when you apply this mostly 8 encoding, it takes 1, 1, 1 and for the rest as mostly encoding can't hold more than that then it will be a raw size. You can see that for mostly 16 in the 4th column and mostly 32 in the 5th column. Run length encoding. If I have values which are running immediate back to back. Suppose if I save it table and it has the values blue blue next to each other green 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 blue and yellow 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 so if the values are repeating immediately after that then you can use run length encoding it saves only one and the rest will have a reference till it finds a different value you can see this the original size in the second column which stores 4 and 4 for blue but the compressed value will store only one and the next value will just have the reference. So the total original size is 51 bytes but whereas the compressed size is 23. Text 255 and text 32k encoding. Text 255 and text 32k encodings are useful for compressing wear care columns in which the same words recur often. A separate dictionary of unique words is created for each block of column values on disk. Remember this, each block. The dictionary contains the first 245 unique words in the column. Those words are replaced on disk by a 1 byte indexed value, representing one of the 245 values. And any words that are not represented in the dictionary are stored and compressed. The process repeats for each 1 MB disk block. If the indexed words occur frequently in a column, the column will yield a high compression ratio. For the text 32k encoding, the principle is the same, but the dictionary for each block does not capture a specific number of words. Instead, the dictionary indexes each unique word it finds until the combined entries reach a length of 
32k minus some overhead. The index values are stored in two bytes. For example, consider the venue name column in the venue table. Words such as arena, center, and theater recur in this column and are likely to be among the first 25, 245 words encountered in each block if text 20, 255 compression is applied. If so, this column will benefit from compression because every time those words appear, they will occupy only one byte of storage instead of 5, 6 or 7 bytes respectively. G-Standard Encoding G-Standard Encoding provides a high compression ratio with very good performance across diverse data sets. G-Standard works especially well with CARE and WHERECARE columns that store a wide range of long and short strings such as product descriptions, user comments, logs and JSON strings. Where some algorithms such as delta encoding or mostly encoding can potentially use more storage space than no compression, G-Standard is very unlikely to increase disk usage. G-Standard supports all Redshift data types. If you want to test the compression, you can just use the following statement. If you are finding it difficult to identify what compression technique you need to use on a column, and if you have the data loaded into that column, you can just run the command analyze compression table on the column name, which we discussed in the previous session. Analyze compression table name and you can mention the columns. Then Redshift will recommend which compression technique is the best suitable. And you can create a table with the compression techniques. You can see here the event ID is using mostly 16 encoding and the quantity sold is using mostly 8. In the same way for this table you can see that the syntax how to use the encoding techniques.